Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Tian Yu from Terry Chiu Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. And the way we're going to do it is sort of a modified simultaneous equation approach. So let's read the question first. The question says, at a movie premiere, a queue starts forming at the box office before it opens at 1pm. And from 1pm onwards, a fixed number of people join the queue every minute. This is quite important, the fact that it's a fixed number. So the people every minute don't change. That's pretty important information. So I'm going to highlight it first. Now, if seven counters open at the box office, the queue could be cleared in 14 minutes. If nine counters open, the queue will clear in 10 minutes. Now the question is, if 12 counters open, how long would it take to clear the queue? So there's quite a lot of information in this question, but I want us to think about this. What are all the unknown information that we have in this question? And I'm going to start listing them down one by one. So the first thing we don't know is how many people already in the queue before the start. That's the first unknown information. And I'm going to call this unknown C. Next, the next thing we don't know is how many people people can be cleared in one minute. I'm going to call that unknown X. Finally, what we don't know is how many people join Q every minute. Join Q every minute. And I'm going to call that unknown y. So, after breaking down the question, we can see that we actually have three different unknowns. And if you think about it, it's probably pretty hard to do a question with three unknowns. So the goal of this question is to go from three unknowns to hopefully all the way down to one or zero unknowns. And how are we going to do that? We're basically going to be forming some simultaneous equations. So I'm going to use my first scenario now. Seven counters will take 14 minutes to clear everybody. So what is 7 times 14 times x? That's essentially the total number of people joining the queue. That's going to be equal to 14 times y. So the total number of people that join plus c. Because there were already some people in the queue beforehand. This right here, when I simplify it, will give me 98x is equal to 14y plus c. And I'm going to call this equation 1. So this right here, once again, that's the total number of people. So similarly, I can create one more set of equations. I can now take the one with nine counters open. So nine counters will take 10 minutes to clear everybody. That's going to be equal to 10 times y plus c. And my second equation is out. I have 90x is equal to 10y plus c. And I'm going to call this right here equation 2. So, as with most simultaneous equation questions, what I should do now is try to get rid of some unknowns. How do I do that? In this case, I'm going to take equation 1 minus equation 2. So, 98x minus 90x, that gives me 8x. 14y minus 10y, that gives me 4y. And C minus C, they cancel each other out. So as you can see, from three unknowns, I'm now down to two unknowns. If I do some further simplification, simplification, sorry, I realize that Y is equal to 2X. And that's really helpful for me. I'm now going to sub Y equals to 2X into equation 2. The reason I want to do this, I have now expressed Y in terms of X. I also want to be expressing C in terms of X. So equation 2, I have 90X is going to be equal to 20X since I've done the substitution plus C. That means C is going to be equal to 70X. So now I have X, I have Y equals to 2X, and I have C equals to 70X. I have effectively expressed everything 
in terms of x, which is going to be really helpful for my calculations. Finally, I'm going to create an equation 3 using 12 booths. So by following the similar logic, 12 booths will take t minutes, we don't know what that is, that's the value we're trying to find, to clear all the x, right? And on the right side, we'll have 12 times y, that's what we normally do, but since we know that y is 2x, I'm going to replace it with a 2x over here. Sorry, this wouldn't be 12, this would be t. My bad. Yeah, t times 2x plus c. That's what we normally do. However, we have now expressed c in terms of x. So I'm going to write 70x instead. I now have 12tx is equal to 2tx plus 70x. I bring this over. I'll now get 10tx equals to 70x. Since I have x on both sides, I'm going to do some cancellation. Just like this, cancel both x. Now I cancel 10 and I cancel the 0. Therefore, I can see over here that t is equal to 7. What does that mean? It will take 12 booths exactly 7 minutes to clear all the customers. So my final answer right here is t equals to 7. We have now completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.